I look so rich and baby. Oh, hit me, baby, one more time. Come on. It would not be a video of mine if I did not sing awfully. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm saying cute way too much. Super, super, super cute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be filming a fall favorites video and I'm so excited because I have been waiting to film this video for so long. I have been kind of missing months. Um, I didn't film a favorites video for maybe the past two months or so. I've gathered a bunch of clothing and makeup and beauty and food um, items that I want to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. I think I'm going to start off with beauty first because I don't have that many makeup items. So the first item is this NARS eyeshadow in Kalahari and it is such a beautiful combination. Like it just screams fall to me. I got this last year and um, yeah, I've never stopped using it. It really looks good together and it's perfect for the fall. So if you guys are looking for a new eyeshadow to try out, I would definitely recommend this. Next I have a lipstick from Tarte. This is in the shade Plummy Rose and I have it on my lipstick right now it's just a really natural plum color and I'm not a type of person that wears really bold lip shades I guess um, when I go to school or just in general so I love having natural lip colors this is the perfect bald lip color for me because it's not too bold and it's not too dull and boring so I still look like I have something on my lips so the next one I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is, I'm not sure which one it is, but it's just the pink one and it has four shades in it. Sunburst, Golden Bronze, Bubbly, and Dripping in Gold. Okay. I usually use Drip, no, I'm not, I'm, I just lied. I usually use Bubbly, which is like my favorite shade to put on my cheeks, um, on top of my lips, like right there, and then my, that's not my cupid's bow, down my nose and a little bit on my chin. Sometimes I use this for eyeshadow too. Not going to lie, but these are just amazing colors. If you guys are looking for something that you want to invest your money in and get a really good highlighting palette, then I definitely recommend getting one of these things. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is skincare, and I have these two products. This one's from Lush. It's the body lotion. It's... It's the charity pot. It's like literally right there in the front. But yeah, this is just the lotion I've been using because it's been getting colder and dry. So my skin is obviously gonna get dry. I need to put lotion on, so I use this. I'm trying to look for new lotions to use from Lush because I love their products, but this particular lotion smells weird to me. Like, I don't like the smell. If you guys um, have any suggestions for me, then please comment that down below because I really want to try um, a new lotion from them. This little mini thing is a rose face mask from Fresh. I got it for one of those sets that Sephora gives you like for your birthday. So this came um, part of the set and it is just like, yeah, if I tilt it too much, it'll fall, but it just looks like that. And it's kind of clear, kind of not. There's like rose petals in it and it just makes my face really soft and hydrated. I leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes or so and it makes my skin really soft and almost like a baby's butt so recommend this next i have a fragrance this is from juicy couture it's the i don't know what name it is and i love this i have been trying this one out because i always use the um what's that perfume i use the daisy by mark jacobs that's like the one i always use so i've been trying to switch things up a bit and try this one out and i've been really loving it it kind of smells like a feminine -y floral maybe yeah like a feminine floral if that makes any sense but i do like this next i have the part that i've been waiting to show you guys and it is the clothing item so i'm gonna jump right into it because i have a lot to show you the first thing that i've been loving um for my fall fashion is a denim jacket. I feel like everyone needs just like a simple plain denim jacket to style on top of anything. Like if you're just running out, then you just can grab this and be like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. Even like this, even a sweatshirt and this would be cute, you know? But this one is from Gap and it just looks like a regular denim jacket. Like, I don't know, it doesn't look special to me, but uh, it is cropped, so that's something interesting. Next thing I've been loving are sweaters and obviously nobody can go wrong with sweaters, all time. I have three that I'm going to show you. Two of them are like a yarny, not like a, they're knit, but they're like, they're weirdly material. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but this first one is from Brandy Melville 
and it is a knit cream white and it has like some speckled stuff on it I think and I just really been loving this it's just a simple sweater I cuffed the sleeves it has some slits at the bottom and I think it is super cute the next one I have is also from Brady Melville it's a baby powder blue and I showed this in my LA clothing haul um, for back to school so yeah I've definitely been getting my use out of this sweater and I love it. Brandy Mobile sweaters always kill the game because they're so soft, comfortable, affordable. They just they're just amazing. The next sweater I have is from Urban Outfitters and I think I got this for like $55, $60 I think last year. But it just looks like this and it is super cute. It has some pockets at the bottom and then a cool like aztec -y print. Next, I have been loving sweatshirts. It's actually the sweatshirt I'm wearing right now. This one is from Urban Outfitters and I cannot tell you how soft this thing is. Like, this, it's changed changed my sweatshirt life like I literally want to go and buy more Urban Outfitter sweatshirts because of this one and yeah I recommend getting Urban Outfitter sweatshirts if they are goals all right the next thing that I want to talk about is something that you probably already noticed that I'm a little bit obsessed with they're just hats like baseball hats and I just love these three so I'm gonna show you them this first one is from Brandy Melville and it just says LA on it I just really like this one because I don't have any white hats then I have another one from Brandy it says New York City USA on it, it has the little America flag on the front and then it has like an address in the back and it's just a navy blue cap that I throw on and then finally I have one from Pebble Beach that I got at one of the stores it's like on the Gulf course resort thing so I just got one of these and I love it it's just black and white all right the next thing I want to talk about is a trend that I've seen growing like so much I can't explain to you and I absolutely love it they are the t-shirt and dress slip dress trend I guess and this first one um looks like this and I kind of paired it from what I have in my closet. I love the combination of this and it is just a blue t-shirt underneath a white silk material slip tank, I guess you could say. They're both from Brandy. The next one I have is just a dress and then a white t-shirt underneath. This dress is from Urban and then the shirt is from Brandy. I really love this trend. I think it's very unique and not a lot of people wear it, so I love it. Next, I have two pairs of booties that I'd like to show you. So the first pair are these boots from H&M. They kind of look like the Doc Martens, um, but they're not Doc Martens. They are way cheaper than that. It has a very comfy fleece material in the inside and it keeps my feet really warm. I really like it. They're just really comfy. If you wear these with like socks that pop up at the top right here, then that'd be really cute. My next boots um, are my fave. Like I wear these almost every day. They are just these black ankle booties from Urban. Oh my god, I just love them. Like I want to marry them. They're just like my everyday go-to boots. I have like cool thing right there and then like I like these because it kind of has like these spiky things at the bottom, which I think is really unique. The next thing I want to talk about is food. These are the pretzel crisps from Snack Factory. The white chocolate flavor in peppermint. I love them. They're good. Go try them. I'm going to eat one right now. Next, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite music for this month and just in general that I've been loving. I'm just going to play it for you and jam. So the first song is called All Time Low from From by John Bellion and let me blast it up. I'm a ghost, I call your name, you look right through me. <laughs> and then the next song I'd like to show you is by Hey Violet and it's the song Guys My Age and I love it and I'm gonna play it for you. my entire favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
if you didn't know, I have a giveaway going on, so make sure to go check out that video. I'll have a link down below. I hope you guys are having a marvelous and wonderful day or night. I do want to film a Q&A video that may go up sometime next week. I definitely will film it. But I've only had two questions so far, so um, unless you guys want me to make a video based on two questions, I can do that for you. Um, I'd really love it if you went to my Twitter and just tweeted me with the hashtag AskMaddieTaiego and um, just ask me some questions that you might be wondering about me. I think I want you guys to get to know me a little bit better, so I think that will be really fun and interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!